What's going on guys, my name's Ryan, and uh, first off I'd like to say I hope you guys had a really great holiday and uh, a safe New Year's. What I got for you today is a wager match on Jungle, and it's actually a gun game. The reason I like these uh, gun games and the reason I sh I'm choosing to bring this one up is basically because of the fact that it shows player skill with each and every gun, or well, at least the majority of the guns, and I think that's really important because... I know there's some people that will just stick to one gun and uh, kind of—I don't want to say whore it, but just well, yeah, whore it. And uh, <laughs> they won't—they really just won't use any other gun. And I mean, depending on what kind of player you are, and I know I try to keep myself uh, like more of a diverse player. I'll use different guns and just change it up because I think I'll go crazy if I use the same weapon on every single map every time. But uh, I think it just shows your skill level too, because some guns have more recoil than others, and if a player can adjust to all those different types of recoils and you know really get the hang of all different weapons, I think it'll just make them a better player in general. And uh, you know if this goes up on PGN Live, really appreciate the owners of the channel for putting this up there for me. Um, you know I've been commentating for a while now, and and I'm not really tried to get myself a big break or anything, but you know this would be really awesome if they actually put this up. So uh, you know thank you guys. Anyway, uh, back to what I was talking about. Right now, I'm basically, not, I don't really have a strategy here. I'm just going around looking for everyone to kill. I don't really want to pretend like I have some secret to how I'm going to win this game. This is more of just me uh, trying to play smart, keep my player as concealed as I possibly can while uh, you know, trying to rack up the kills. The problem with what I'm actually doing right here is I stepped right out in the open without looking at the other two vantage points, which is why I just got killed right there. And uh, I like to point out things like this and kind of show gameplays that aren't like superhuman gameplays where I'll go like 60 and 4. I do I do post them though, but you know I like to show games where I do die quite a bit to point out why I died and kind of give you guys tips on how you can avoid dying like I do. I think that's actually more important than uh, showing like, hey guys, I can get a 60 and like 2 gameplay, you know. But, uh, you know, I guess it is pretty entertaining to watch gameplays like that. Nonetheless, so I wouldn't hate on them. And actually, another reason why I wanted to show a wager match is you got to learn how to keep your cool in, uh, I guess, high-stress circumstances. As far as video games go, of course, it's like you see yourself die a couple times and you'll be like, all right, you know, these players are obviously better than me, you know, and then you start discouraging yourself. And then from that point on, you'll start making mistakes. And it's kind of like the snowball effect. And then slowly you'll start to play worse and worse and then you'll lose the game, get frustrated, you'll probably play another one, you'll lose that one too, and then you'll be down twice the money and more frustrated than you should be. And a uh, good way to avoid this altogether is, well, first off, I wouldn't play wager match unless you're ready to lose your COD points because, you know, that's just how it is. You, there's always the chance that you're going to lose because there is a lot of good players on Black Ops. Black Ops really is a test of skill. That's why I like the game. Uh, I know a lot of people won't agree with that, but uh, hopefully some of you guys do. I do like a lot of other Call of Duties, though, too. I'm not just Black Ops uh, favorited, though. And uh, what I really try to do is you got to kind of cool yourself off. If you get killed a couple times, you got to kind of concentrate and think, okay, why did that happen, and what can I do to make that not happen next time? And, uh... You know, that goes for real life, too, and I don't want to, like, go into, oh, I'm going to give you guys a bunch of real life lessons. I mean, I guess I could, but, you know, I, I do mixed martial arts, and, you know, my uh, instructor always tells me that uh, the best guys out there are the ones that basically been beat up the most, and that's really true. You know, the guys that are losing all these games and stuff, they'll learn from it and uh, learn how to make it not happen again and, uh, you know, start coming out on top, kind of like when I used to play Halo back in the day. I, uh, <laughs> well, to say I was bad was probably an overstatement. I was terrible. And, uh, you know, I thought I was really good. I think that's just how it goes when you're younger and, uh, you know, you get like a kill or two and you think you're like the biggest boss in the world. <laughs> I guess I don't really know. But, uh, you know, you learn from your mistakes and you learn how to progress and make your, your game a little bit better. And, uh, over time, you'll just develop your own tactics that'll make you get to that level you want to be at. And uh, a lot of it goes into the players that you're playing with, too. And this is a really competitive game type, so 
I'd really recommend it if you're trying to progress your game. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry it's a little short, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to post some more uh, wager matches. So until next time, thanks for watching, guys.